What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Draft to Glory. In the last 10 episodes, we are 37 and 3. 10 drafts, 10 finals, 7 wins. I could not be happier with that. Into episode 11 we go guys. Thank you so much for your support on the series. If you're enjoying Draft to Glory, drop a thumbs up on the video. It would be very much appreciated. I'm going to go with the 442 flat. I think that's probably the better formation for me uh, so far. Um, just a, a word to EA. It would be great to get an icon in the draft. Please, please put the icons in the draft. It would be nice to play with some of the icons, man. I've only played with Trezeguet this year because, well, I suppose I have played with a couple like Desai and... Uh, Rui Costa on my Xbox account, but like maybe like three or four games. But I would love to play with some of the icons. So we've taken Captain Gareth Bale. Ooh. I like that Romelu Lukaku. I remember last time we had him in draft. He was a beast for us. Great finishing shot power and positioning. Great sprint speed. Reactions uh, and composure are good. Physicals are obviously amazing. With him and Gareth Bale up front, man. If we can build a really cool team here. Oh, happy days. Can't not take him. I know we've got three leagues now. Um, I would happily start Ronaldo on the on the bench and just bring him straight in. Although, if we could get Douglas Costa here. Please. No, we can't. Um, I mean, we don't get any Calcio A players. And we get Bundesliga. I, I guess we take uh, Quincy Promes here. I know that's four, four different leagues, but that is four beast players. And so if we have to start one or two of them on the bench and start one or two of them on the team, I'm happy with that. And on that note, maybe Fred is really good to have here. Obviously, strong links to Lukaku, which is great. He's got high, high work rate. So for a center midfielder, he actually kind of works a little bit. And we'll move on to the next center. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of glad to get... Oh, Raphael van der Vaart. He's silver now. Jeez. 27 stamina. What? I mean, he's only a year. He's only 34. Maybe 35 by now. He's 35. He's 35 and they've given him 28 sprint speed and 27 stamina. Is he really that bad? I can't imagine so. Um, let's take Brunt because he's the highest rated. I'm going to need some links here, EA. I'm going to need some links. Let's go for the right back. I want Premier League down his right-hand side now. <clears throat> there we go. Hector Bellerin will take. With an anchor two, no less. So uh, a nice Premier League centre-back would go down a treat. Ooh. Now, we could take... I mean, obviously, David Luiz does work because he strong links. Ah, oh, yeah, no, I'm going to take... I was going to say we could take the three and go for La Liga on the... Sorry, uh, Serie A on the left-hand side. But David Luiz is a Brazilian... Strong links to Fred. So Fred's on perfect chem. Any Premier League right mid will get Lukaku on 10 chem. Um, and then Kepa in goal would be ideal if we can get him. Oh, perfect. Look at that. So as long as we get a Premier League right mid, we have got a perfect Premier League segment down that right-hand side. And then the two defenders here are going to determine whether or not we go for La Liga or Syria down the left-hand side. We're going to go with Syria. We're going to take Alexandro. We're going to risk, absolute risk getting... A Calcio A, Syria, sorry, um, left mid. If we can get Costa, perfect. Just absolutely perfect. And now give me a Juve centre back as well. I mean, we got one. Can't can't turn away from that. Rogani there. I mean, that's not bad to start with, guys. So we're going to be using Gareth Bale and Quincy Promes as subs, which I'm totally okay with. We've already got our silver well out of the way, which is fantastic. There we go. That is all we needed. Raheem Sterling on the right-hand side there. Boom. Everybody down that right-hand side is on 10 chem. All we need is a Juve midfielder and any Serie A left mid. And we have got a perfect hybrid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is fantastic. That puts us up to 99 chemistry. I can't... I like. It's like EA are listening to me right here. What do we get? Oh, my God. Stop it. It is literally the perfect hybrid. Other than the fact that Sterling and Insigne are on the like left wing, right wing, instead of left mid, right mid, and Dybala is on cam instead of centre mid. This is the perfect hybrid. And we've got Gareth Bale and Quincy Promes as super subs. The, I, I would say... 
I'm going to take João Cancelo. I would say this is my best draft to date. It is already a 186, so that is a high-rated draft. <clears throat> and for that, I think I want to go... Oh, remember Buena Notte's Team of the Season card? That was pretty cool. And I think I want to try and keep going with high-rated. We've got a couple more players to bring on. But, I mean, this is, this is my best draft. 100% this is my best draft. Whether or not we can utilize that to get us up to the final or not um, is, is another question, another story. Ooh, ooh. We can't use him, Titi, but, man, he's a good card. We could take Valencia instead of Bellerin. I don't really care for it. I, I want the high-rated. I want to see if we can get a 187. Or a 188. I know 18. I've, I've seen a 187 once. So I think 187 is the current highest rated draft. I haven't seen a 188. What do we get for the next one? Come on, give me another big card. We get Kolarov in there. Or Bender. We'll take Kolarov. Obviously, I want to put Promes uh, on the bench. So Promes, Bale and Titi are some very, very good, uh, good subs. Can we get ourselves a Neymar? I would love a Neymar as a super sub. We get a Deli Ali in there. Not bad, Deli Ali. Doesn't link, sadly, to to Lukaku strong enough. But Deli Ali as a sub is, is, again, a nice addition. We're going to need a couple of big cards if we want to get this 187. Come on, hook me up with a Neymar game. No, we get uh, we get Gudelj Centurion. Centurion will swap for Promes. It's only a 186 still, but I feel like we're close, man. I feel like we are a Neymar or so away. We're not getting it. Ooh, might have saved us. And go all there. So the last pick here, guys, is going to determine whether or not we can get a 187. We can't. Um, however, however, I am delighted with this draft. I think this is fantastic. Let me just check to see. It. So it's not a 187, 100%. This is hands down my best draft. Um, we have got a great squad here. Now, if we can get a an English Serie A manager, which I don't think there is one. Like, that would be ideal. I mean, we get a... Uh, is he Calcio B? No, he's not. So there you go. That would get Dybala and Insigne up to 10 chem. This is the perfect draft. This is, this is an incredible draft. I'm blown away by how good this team is. We've got some amazing substitutes. We've got an insane starting lineup. Watch this be the one where I don't make the final. This is 100% my best draft. And this is going to be the one where we get screwed. Now, let us take a look at, again, the custom tactics. So, um, I want to go drop back, 3-3. Three, three. Um, I want to go with my offensive style. I want fast build up this time around. Uh, just a, as a little change there, because I want to get the ball up quick enough. In terms of instructions, stay central, getting behind for the two midfielders. I want Fred to uh, stay back while attacking. And I want him to cover center. Uh, and then Dybala, I want to stay, I want to keep the same. On top of that, I do want uh, an attacking aggressive, so constant pressure, lots of uh, very, very high depth, lots of width, uh, like so. And then instructions, I think they stay the same. They do, so we just get a constant pressure there. And then lastly, I also want a very, very defensive, so drop back all the way deep, um, possession, just nothing. I just I don't want to be going up the field at all. And then for instructions on this one, uh, does this change the the instructions in general? Um, so I want him to stay back while attacking. I want uh, Fred to stay back while attacking. I want him to come back on defense. And I want Insigne to come back on defense. I want Sandro to stay back while attacking. And I want Hector Bellerin to stay back while attacking. So I hope that that doesn't change the instructions of these guys. No, it doesn't. Perfect. So if, I'm, if, I, need a, if I need a goal... Uh, we go attacking, and it's an attacking 4-4-2. Uh, if I'm desperately hanging on, we'll go to defensive, and it will be the most defensive formation. Everyone would be deep in my own box. That, guys, is the squad. I am excited to play with this. Let's get into the action. All right, guys, as we go into the gameplay, the first opponent we come up against has got an incredible 186 team. He has got Kovacic, Ramos, Varane, Courtois, probably the best trio outside of icons in defense right there. Griezmann and Hazard and then Morata up front, which I believe he subbed Neymar on for. But just generally speaking, a really, really good squad. And let me tell you, man, this guy was also a really, really good player. I don't know if he happens to watch the videos or if he does happen upon this video at any stage in his... Uh, in his life on YouTube, but um, he was fantastic. And, you know, I said as we built this team, 
this is good. Like this, I can imagine that the best team that we've had so far is going to be the one that we struggle with. And I didn't necessarily struggle in this game because this uh, team was good or wasn't bad or anything like that. I struggled in this game because this guy was just very good. Um, I ended up scoring an equalising goal there with Romelu Lukaku to make it 2-2. In the 55th minute, here we go forwards with Dybala. Some lovely little work to get the space into Gareth Bale. He hits that time finesse. So it was all about a little bit orangey-green, but worked for me anyway. And that put me up to 3-2. And then I eventually secured the victory uh, at 4-2 in the 65th minute here with Promes into the box. Lovely little La Croqueta. Squares it across. Deflects luckily to Ronaldo. And I go through 4-2. So really, really tough tough game in round one you know i was concerned that i would lose in round one splash seven four three two right there man fair play to you dude you can see by the match stats there it was just an even game and i i edged that one into the second round we we'll come up against a guy with the four three two one eden hazard sergio aguero mo salah really good squad in general as well full-on premier league sweat squad uh you know hector bellerin valencia mendy alisson just some great cards in there uh, but i was i was really comfortable in this game like this guy with no disrespect to him compared to my previous opponent wasn't very good uh cristiano ronaldo hitting a brilliant time finesse there to go one nil to the good however the goals did not stop there, and this was a goal fest. Romelu Lukaku pulling it to 2-0. My opponent did get a penalty from which he scored with Eden Hazard. Tucks that one nicely into the right-hand corner there to go 2-1. Uh, after that, though, I, I just, I mean, I carried on dominating the game, and eventually the goals came from it. A beautiful time finesse from the top of the box there with Cristiano Ronaldo to make it 3-1. I ended up getting a penalty in the 77th minute to make it 4-1 with Dybala there. Uh, eventually, it became 5-1. Another little time finesse there. Well, I actually didn't time that well at all. That was too late, but Ronaldo with a finesse shot to make it 5-1. Eventually, Ronaldo go, went through on goal again and made it 6-1 another finesse shot that was too late but still went in and then the pick of the bunch the rainbow flick to the time timed volley there slams that one home to make it 7-1 uh, i think you can gather at the end there that the guy had kind of given up uh, all, all sorts so um yeah you know he he ends up uh, just kind of losing composure a little bit at the end there. Has the MD and we go 7-1 up and then we move into the semi-finals guys and if you thought that was a goal fest we was the semi-final a goal fest uh, you can see by the match that's there dominant this guy's got a 4 3 2 1 just a really good midfield and attack you know salah sterling sanchez pogba seri and henderson very very good valencia mendy very good kepa's okay his center backs are a little bit suspect uh, however he scores the first goal with mendy from a corner at this stage in the game i was actually j just generally in control i wasn't dominating by any, any way shape or form but just generally in control he then fouls me after i put the ball away with harry Maguire, who gets a red card and um obviously after the red card i get a penalty i end up scoring the penalty to make it 1-1 and that is where this game just absolutely switched out i cannot explain to you how difficult it became to play after he got a red card it was all like i genuinely felt like i had 10 men his team would just but they were just zooming all over the place. It felt like they, you know, you know when uh, you turn sliders up or if you had stack cards, it felt like he had got stack card boost or sliders boost after he got a red card. Now, I'm not saying that actually happened. Potentially, he just outplayed me. Well, I mean, I guess he did just outplay me, right? Because he, he ends up putting goals past me. Um, but he went 2-1 up. I pulled it back to 2-2. He went 3-2 up. And then very late on, I managed to sneak home. A really nice finish. Ball comes out here to Gareth Bale. Gets into the space. Lovely little fake shot slot. Fake shot stop. Drags it back. Pops it into the Dybala to make it 3-3. Into extra time. I actually took the lead in extra time. Happy days. Gareth Bale lays it into uh, Lukaku. Lukaku finds Dybala. Dybala tries, uh, well, pops it to um, Promes there on as a sub. Promes controls it lovely, volleys it, smashes that one home for 4-3. And at this point, I thought, happy days. In extra time, 4-3 up. I'm just going to cruise now against his 10 men. Uh, but, oh, no. It was so hard to play against this guy. I, I ended up moving my keeper out of the way there. I thought he was going to try and sweat it across for goal. So I made a huge mistake. That is absolutely my error. My mistake there for bringing the keeper out. And then he scores again to go 5-4 up uh, just on the stroke of half time and extra time. I try manual defending, punished again for manually defending with Rogani there. He eventually gets in behind and uh, slams that one home with Kong Dogbeer to make it 5-4, which soon became 6-4 just after the kickoff in the second half. And again, 
I, I can see myself losing my composure here and, and just manually defending, which is always a mistake. You know, just let let the defenders defend, control the midfielders and attackers, no problem at all. I did get back into the game with five minutes to go, though. A beautiful time finish from the top of the box with Dybala. Not a finesse this time either. He lasers it home. But sadly, that was the end of the game. But you'll see by the match stats, this guy actually dominated me after he got the red card. I've never struggled in a game so much against 10 men before in my entire FIFA career. But this guy went from being out of control in the game to absolutely controlling the game. And it was absurd. So we lose. We don't get to the final for the first time in 11 attempts, which I'm still super proud with. Uh, but that, guys, is going to be the end of the gameplay. Let's get in to the packs. So, guys, there you have it. Um, as a called, kind of, we, uh, we lost... Our first like draft that wasn't in the final with the best team I've put together. Let me tell you something about that semi-final game. After that guy got the red card, it genuinely felt like I had 10 men. He just started dominating me after he got a man sent off. I don't know what changed in the in the gameplay. And I was constantly chasing the game. I think I got ahead at 2-1. Um, but it was just every time he got the ball, it felt like he had like three or four attackers just running straight through my lines. And I looked after the game. He had his Harry Maguire in the left forward slot. So he only had two attackers and three midfielders. And he was able to absolutely dominate my back line. And I just... I, 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 I just, I felt like I had 10 men. That's the only way I can put it. I felt like it was me that got punished for him getting a man's end off. Um, with that being said, that still was my best ever draft. Uh, what was it? A 186 anyway. Hopefully we can get something good out of the rewards. A lot of the 84 pluses are selling for a huge amount of uh, coins. We get a premium gold pack and a jumbo premium gold pack. That is, generally speaking, just not worth it. But let's see... If we get anything good out of our awards, any board player would be nice. An inform obviously would be nice. So we don't get a board, but we do get a shiny player. It is going to be Flint. Definitely worthless. Hopefully we get some uh, common cards that are worth a bit or some nice, um, some nice coins there. So we don't really get anything worth anything here, actually, which sucks a little bit. We'll send Maggio up to the trade pile. But yeah, guys, I, I mean, that's FIFA for you, know. T take nothing away from the guy. He obviously was a good player to be able to perform with 10 men to that level. Um, I, I, I genuinely just can't explain how I went from just really like even though I was one nil down in that game, I was I was in control of the game, and then he got the red card, and then it just it fell apart for me. I don't know, maybe it was me that changed. But anyway, let's see if we were getting our premium jumbo premium gold pack. Do we at least get a board here, EA? No, we don't. It is tough out here. We get Musashio, only eighty rated. So I don't know if we're going to make profit off of this draft necessarily. Almost definitely not, I would say. Don't want that. Don't want that. Um, yeah, unless we get something major back here, which we haven't done. I, I doubt we're going to make profit off of this draft. But it was a pleasure to play with those players that we played with. This is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed Draft the Glory, leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.